Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Tasman Tour Review, where we drink like Tyrion Lannister, shoot like John Wick, and party like Charlie Sheen. Not sure I'm kidding. Uh, I had a few requests on a live stream the other night to do a uh, video of my toy collection. Uh, I'm going to be straight up. I am in the middle of moving a lot of things around. I bought some cases. Uh, to put some things in, so it is a mess right now. Uh, I live a life of disorganization anyway, so not unusual. Uh, this is actually, I guess, the start of my collection. This is a, we'll start here. Uh, I basically have two rooms. It was an office at one time, and like I said, please overlook the, uh, the unorganization. I am working on it probably most of the day. Uh, this is actually a building bookcase with the house. And uh, I was actually very lucky to get this. The bottom shelf has comics in it right now. And if you look over here, there's a ton of comics uh, that I actually have to move. A uh, huge comic book guy. But basically, just to start out, we have Hulk. Uh, a lot of my Marvel selects. We have some Marvel Legends in there. I have uh, my Punishers. And it looks like I got a Daredevil over there. As anybody who's watched my uh, some of the live streams I've been on knows, I'm a huge Punisher guy. So, uh... Got a lot of the, the Marvel Legends. Uh, I got his Marvel Select up there, and I actually have another Marvel Select, the same one on the desk. On the bottom shelf, or second shelf, I have Batman. Uh, mostly Batman. I've got South Park guys on there just because I love that show. Those guys are geniuses when it comes to comedy. On the other end, I have some of the Batman villains. Uh, love Batman. Huge, huge fan of the Batman. And then anybody who knows... Anything about me knows that I, uh, I'm i a Darth Vader guy. I uh, love uh, the Sith Lord. Uh, I have the hyper real figure right there, which is probably my favorite one I have right now. I have the SG figure arts there. Uh, I don't really like it as good as the hyper real. I haven't opened it just because it was so expensive. But I have some various Sith Lords. I got a Darth Malgus in there and... I think I got a Bane somewhere around here. I'm, I don't know what I did with him. He might be... He's somewhere. But uh, I got a few different... I got a Palpatine back in that corner, if you can see. But uh, huge Darth Vader guy. Uh, when we go on the next wall, you'll see I have even more uh, Vader. As we move on to my wall here, I, up until a few days ago, I actually had it covered with these Star Treks, which I'm a huge track fan. But I move my neck a horror, and then I have some Diamond Select horror in there as well. And actually, McFarlane, I, I see that Jack the Ripper. I'd forgot about that. But that's uh, these are my neck as that are boxed. Uh, like I said, I showed this off on one live stream. I don't know if anybody's seen it. This is actually an unlicensed Ted Bundy serial killer figure. Not even going to tell you how much I paid for it because it might offend some people. But uh, I don't know. I thought it was cool. Probably a little sick and morbid on my part, but uh, you don't see those hardly ever, and so I got a chance to get it, and I got it. In my window seal of death, I uh, it's totally unorganized. Please forgive me. I have my Thor collection. Uh, Thor is my favorite Avenger, uh, and so just some different random Thors. Uh, one of my favorites, the uh, San Diego Comic Con Unworthy Thor, uh, Marvel Legend. Uh, just some different ones. Uh, I also got a God of War figure back there. I just thought he looked good with those. And then over here, I basically have uh, just some random things. Uh, looking over to my one of my Star Trek walls, have Deep Space Nine. Uh, probably my favorite show. And then I have TNG. I have all of the first series of TNG except Data and the Romulan. I actually had the Romulan, and I don't know if... I don't know what happened to it. So, over on my back wall, I actually, in a previous video, I showed uh, my Black Series in my bedroom. I realized that as much as we like figures, that uh, enticing women to come into your bedroom with action figures is not a very good strategy, guys. So, uh... I uh, I went ahead and moved these into my, my toy room uh, just so my bedroom wouldn't look like that of a 12-year-old. Uh, to anybody whose bedroom is like that, I mean no offense. Uh, 
<laughs> it might have been that way most of my life. It just some things going on in my life that I need to kind of be a little bit more adult in certain aspects. So uh, this is my Black Series collection uh, in the box. Uh, as you can see, I got some new Qui-Gon, the Battle Droid. Uh, I got the Bad Batch series, and everybody knows, you know, I'm giving away the free Bo-Katan. So, I talked about what I had just done. I recently purchased these cases, and we're getting a little bit of light from uh, outside, but basically just, I've got my Symbiotes, I've got X-Men, my Iron Man shelf. Uh, that's a Hulk and kind of like a build a fit figure set, uh, shelf, uh, down here is just some random ones, uh, I got my Alien Predator, can't really see these that well, I've got my DC, uh, some just random DC, uh, I tried to put some movie figures, the Deadpool, the Cable, Domino, and Wolverine, and then I had some Captain America Marvel Legends, and this, I have my Mortal Kombat, uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Uh, I really like that shelf. Uh, and then up here I have my Spider-Man. I have my Ultimate Spider-Man. I have Miles Morales. Wish that light wasn't. I have my uh, kind of my Mary Jane custom. Gwen Stacy, two Gwens. The Vulture. Uh, Green Goblin. Peter B. Peg Warmer. Retro Spidey. And then I got Spider-Man. I'm thinking that's homecoming, but it might be far from home. So you'll have to forgive me, guys. I'm 42 years old, and I've taken a lot of punches to the head in my life, so my memory is not great. Uh, let's go into room two of the uh, toy room. Back on this wall, I have some random Voyager. I almost have uh, the complete set of that as far as uh, the crew. Uh, there's a few more. When you open this up, I just call this my Hall of Badass. I uh, got some horror figures, Bruce Lee, John Wick, Dr. Loomis, uh, some Sin City figures, Ash vs. Evil Dead, uh, just some people I thought were cool. I don't really have another spot for them, so I just made up one. Uh, Batman and Game of Thrones. This is mostly Batman, but uh, I got to organize it a little better. It's got some Duke Nukem and uh, Game of Thrones. Uh, so... Like I said, this is all work in progress, so I do appreciate you overlooking the mess. We got the Walking Dead figures over here. Uh, I really like these, uh, these, uh, Sky, uh, Skybound exclusives. I got the Rick and the Negan, the Beta, the Ezekiel, Michonne, and I've just got some of the, uh, the television show figures, uh. This is just a mess right now. Just <laughs> looking at different things here. Uh, I have some of the 3.75 figures. And then I have a couple of the Bindles, uh, Bindles from a, a long time ago. The Darth Vader and the Emperor. And then going, going there, you can see, like I said, I am definitely a Darth Vader guy. Uh, up on my top shelf, I have the Dragon from Dragonheart. Huge, uh, huge Sean Connery fan. Really big fan of that movie, to tell you the truth. Some of my favorite wrestlers, you see Drew McIntyre, uh, that's my guy. Uh, MJF, I think it's the future of the business. The Fiend, up until WWE ruined him, was totally my guy. And, uh, you know, Moxley, Reigns, a few things like that. I got my Dale Earnhardt uh, 50th anniversary figure. He, uh, I, uh, I can't say that about Earnhardt. I'm an Earnhardt guy through and through. I cried like a baby when he died, and I can still watch shows about him and still cry. Uh, I got G uh, Connor McGregor. I got no Gina Carano figure. Walter White uh, coming from Eastern Kentucky. I know all about meth labs. I don't cook them. I had a buddy who did, but I don't uh, love that show. Kurt Schilling uh, was a big fan of his back when the Red Sox were doing their thing. Chapel, just love that character in Spawn. A lot of this is just random stuff, guys. Nothing, nothing really. Some people like it, some people won't. And then I got my statues of Earnhardt Jr., uh, Earnhardt Sr., and somehow Carson Wentz got in there when it looked like he was going to be something special. <laughs> I jumped onto the Carson Wentz bandwagon, and I think I was about the last one on in Philly. But, uh, 
anyway guys that is my toy room collection uh i'll update the video after i get everything done but finish off with you know looking back at my black series remember this thursday uh, on Ladron's customs uh his anime show we're gonna give away that boca tan so if you haven't registered please do so and uh just want to thank everybody for all their support everybody have a great weekend